everyone, this is Joel Lipinski from Ignite Athletic Conditioning. I'm here to go over the 40-yard dash. The 40-yard dash is the marquee event at any combine. It measures an athlete's explosiveness and power. The athlete starts from a static position and explodes out from runs 40 yards down the field. The athlete's times are taken at 10, 20, and 40-yard intervals. The first aspect of the 40-yard dash in which we're going to go over is going to be the start. As I mentioned in the intro video, we're going to actually start from a static position. So in the NFL, you have to end up holding this position for up to three seconds before you're allowed to take off. What I teach or what we teach here at Ignite is going to be two separate positions. It's going to depend on what you feel more comfortable with. There's a lot of different ways to start. These are just the two that we have found work extremely well for us. What the first position, the first start that I'm going to go over is going to be just that one hand position is what we call it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your lead, lead dominant leg. So my lead dominant leg happens to be my left foot. So I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to place my pinky along the starting line. And what I'm going to do is that pinky is going to go right along the starting line and my left foot, my lead foot is going to be one hand length behind my left hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to load up, bring myself forward, load up my right leg and I'm actually going to load up that back leg so my toes actively dorsiflexed and I want my knee in line with the arch of my lead leg. This will allow me to come down and be in a tight, locked in position. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just let my hands hang right by my side. That's how I'm going to find that good shoulder angle to bring down my down hand. As with the 40 yard dash, we always have to start from a three point stance technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring myself up. And as I bring myself up, I'm going to try to create that lean. As with the 40 yard dash, I'm allowed to have a healthy lean over top of the line. The rule is I just have to have my hand and all my body parts uh, that are down behind the line. So as my right hand's down, I'm putting all that pressure into that right hand. I have about 60% of the weight in my front right hand and about 40% of the weight in that back, in that back, and that side foot. I barely have any weight at all in that back leg. Now my straight shoulder is going to be in front of my right wrist, so that's how I know I've created that proper lead. And once I come down, I've got to make sure that head's relaxed, my hips are above my shoulder, I breathe in, my abs are tight, and I explode out. That's the second type of 40 start that we end up teaching is just the two-handed 40 start. So the only difference between that and the one I originally showed you is just we're going to have two hands to bring back that front foot back, right? So we have the two hands with that front foot. Again, whatever your lead leg is behind that two feet stance where again that start line is. And then what we're going to do, same, same aspect where we're still going to load up that back leg, tuck in that back toe, except now this time instead of that knee being inside, inside of that inside arch, that knee is going to be at that top of that foot. And again, with the whole aspect of this, I want to think of angles. So I want to think 90 degrees and 120 degrees. That's going to be the perfect angle of that front foot at 90 degrees and 120 at that back leg. That's going to give us that maximum lean and that arc to explode out. So when we come back down, still have those shoulders fall right, or those hands fall right by those shoulders. When we come up, having that head relaxed, this back foot stance allows us to have a little bit more lean coming forward, so we're able to keep it to that acceleration stance a little bit longer. And then so making sure that we almost have about 70% of that weight in that front hand, maybe about 30% in that front hand, that side leg, and then just a little in that back leg just to kind of balance things out. So when we come up, having that head relaxed, bringing that back arm back, breathing in, abs tight, 